Hi friends and welcome. Today we are here to watch season three, episode five of Angel called Fredless. Usually I feel like this is the point where I'd start losing my mind a little and being like, oh my God, does this mean Fred is going to leave? You know, just like insert breakdown, but not today, not today. I guess this is like the positive thing about actually having watched this part of the show is that some episodes do start feeling a little bit more familiar than others. Even though honestly everything is sounding a lot more surprising and unfamiliar than I expected, I'm pretty sure I know which episode this is, just because it would make sense with like the timeline of the story. I think this is the episode where um, Fred's parents come to town and she sort of has to make the choice like, you know, should I stay or should I go? Um, and yeah, I mean, of course she decides to stay. Otherwise, I don't think I would be here today um, because I probably wouldn't have found Angel and therefore would not have started Buffy. I guess uh, we know she's got to stay. I do think my memory is going to be better for Fred-centric episodes. I should just put that out there. It's sort of what I was paying attention to when I first watched the show. Like, I'm excited. It feels like it's a Fred episode, so it's a good day for me. I mean, I talked about Darla, so I kind of have to talk about Darla and just say I hope she shows up. Even if it's for like five seconds, I will take my five seconds of Darla's screen time. I will absolutely take it. And I... Fine. I promise that if they give me like five seconds of Darla's screen time, I won't complain about it not being more. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. And I would also love to see Kate. I was going to just press play on the episode, but now Kate's on my mind. So I just wanted to put that out there. And this was one of the biggest questions that I had was, does she appear in season three? Because I do not remember her at all. And I have seen this season. So I don't know if this is like me forgetting about Kate, which feels kind of like unnatural and unholy, or if she's just like gone. So I just need to like see Kate and again for like five seconds, just so I can like know that she's still on the show. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I think you're all so much for watching with me. I think we should just head into the episode. Let's see if I'm right. I feel like I have to be right. Come on. Like, I've literally seen this episode before. If I can't get my predictions right for episodes that I have literally sat down and watched, then I literally don't know what to do anymore. You wouldn't dare. Oh, shit. Cordy, the purpose of an inventory... Yes, give us that purpose of an inventory speech again. <laughs> this wasn't my idea. So, now that she's alive again, are they gonna get back together? Angel and that girl with the goofy name? Well, Fred. <laughs> mean. Let me break it down for you, Fred. I know that I am a slayer and you're a vampire. And it would be impossible for us to be together. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Yes, Angel? <laughs> I love you so much, I almost forgot to brood. And just because I sent you to hell that one time doesn't mean that we can't Ouch. just be friends. <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> we mustn't. Kiss me. Bite me. I want you both bite me. You're oh. <laughs> it just can't. How'd it go? To be honest, I really don't want to talk about it. Are you kidding me? You're not going to talk about it either. Oh, Angel, you... <sighs> the curiosity is going to kill me. Exactly. Personally, I don't care at all what happened. <laughs> Shut up, Fred. You want to get some ice cream? I like ice cream. Now we'll never ever know. That's right. Oh God, I hate that so much for me. Boring. It's not a word I'd use for you. <laughs> Fine. Nutty old goony bird up in a room doing nothing but mooching off Angel Fred. I swear, I don't know how y'all put up with me. I practically need flashcards to understand my pretty crystals. Oh look, they're everywhere. Don't touch. You sure you can find your way back, okay? 128 meters back, eastward fork, 207 meters to the southward fork. I'm just being a big nerd again, aren't I? But she uses meters, and that makes me so happy. Fred, I love you. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Bye, then. <laughs> okay. 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 I don't know how to say this slightly. Um, I literally forgot about the Buffy and Angel talk. I'm going to blame this on the fact that I'm doing another like 6, 7 a.m. recording. So I 
didn't think about that. I feel like that was probably just because the way that they talked about Buffy and Angel stock and Buffy, it felt like they weren't going to be talking about that again. So I feel like I was just really caught off guard by the sheer mention of Buffy's existence right now. But I feel like it makes sense. I mean, you know, both sides are going to have to ask. But the fact that they like that they said the same thing of like they want to keep it to themselves and we're never going to know is so mean. Like this is a direct attack towards me as a person. There is no reason that they would do this. Why would they do this? This is so mean. It's so romantic in a way of like I can idealize whatever I want in my head, but it's so mean and I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. Back in my days as a rogue demon hunter, I once used that very spear to pin down what I thought was a small rodentius demon. Of course, the poodle's owners weren't very happy. Would you hurry up and get a vision already? <laughs> Moments later. Ow! Ow! Oh, yes! Ow! I really wish she wouldn't leave her toys laying around. Uh, is this Angel Investigations? We're sorry to barge in on your arsenal here, but we really need to talk to you. He said she was staying here in your hotel. Her name is Winifred Burkle. We call her Fred. Oh, Fred. <laughs> You see, we found her in... A fit of depression. Fred was depressed? Mm. Over what? She had recently relocated and was <laughs> having trouble adjusting. So how did you come to find her again? <laughs> Ordinarily, these things don't put up much of a fight, oh. but this one... Oh, I think I'm going to have it mounted. Hello? Angel makes... Monster movies. <laughs> Angel, these are Fred's very normal parents. Fred has parents. Mm. I love that they're all so shocked. Like, you do know that's sort of what happens. Son, you, your prop is dripping. Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> A couple weeks after never. We want our daughter. Mm -hmm. Get in line, bro. Everybody wants Fred. Don't run away, Fred. Sneaking off, right? If I can barely tie her shoes without Mr. Oh, you're my big fat hero. Around. I think I'm fat. So where do we start? Find Fred. We could hit all the local taco stands. <laughs> Joke. Kind of. What if Fred comes back? Oh. Is it time? Not yet. What? I don't remember her parents being evil. I'm kind of confused. Say I'm like closed. Oh, Fred, it's you. Oh, it's actually her. Row, row, row oh, your boat. Trim the sirens down a notch, would you? All that fear and panic's blowing out my fuses. Fred? This is like an underwater creature for sure. Oh, a doctor. No wonder Fred's so smart. I drive a school bus. Oh, well, I, I've actually never ridden in one of those, but I hear they're very nice. Of course she hasn't. Fred's uh, gone through some changes. And whose fault is that? These parents, bro. Run, run, Fred. But that taco stand's not looking so bad now, is it? Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Bickerson, a little focus, please. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> What the hell? Maybe I should wait outside. You know, I'm I'm not entirely uncomfortable with that suggestion. Oh, I don't like that. I have a heart. Granted, it's located in my left butt cheek, but it's still a heart. And that heart is broken. You know where she is, don't you? All right, but play this one delicately, bro. Move someplace I've never been. No money, no friends, no job. Easy as pie. <laughs> 
3.1415926. Oh, hey, I, I was just calculating pi. No. Fred? Fred, honey, it's us. You're not them. You can't be them. You're not them because they don't know. I got lost and they did terrible things to me, but, but it was just a storybook. But if you're here and you see me, then... Then it's real. Oh, God. I didn't mean to get so lost. Oh, honey, it doesn't matter what they did to you. Mommy, I'm so sorry I got so lost. <laughs> you are safe now. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, God, not right now. Gosh, that was such a cute scene. I need to emotionally process that, not look at this thing. Angel said it could have the <laughs> it. What happened to his face? Angel's a vampire. He has a soul, but it's a long story. I'll tell you about it if we don't end up dying. <laughs> Is Fred gonna join in? Oh Fred, get up! Mom, driver, genius. Oh my god. Did I get it? Did I that get is it? iconic, ma'am. You mean you know how to track these things, Fred? No. Mostly I was just there for the ice cream. I wish you hadn't brought that thing out again. Fixed up. Multiple stab wounds. Angel. Oh, that's my turn. <laughs> Why is he so excited? What a dork. <laughs> That's so cute. And Gun's the muscle, and Cordy's the heart. Oh. And I'm. And to think, we were wondering when to call the police on a bunch of superheroes. I hadn't seen a stroke like that since Nicholas took on Gary Player in the 63 Bob Hope oh, Desert, Desert Classic. Classic. <laughs> All right. I want to go home. If Angel hadn't gotten me out of the way, you'd all be laughing in the morgue right now. I think I should go home where it's quiet and safe and monsters don't eat your family. Oh, it's going to be so good to have you home. <sighs> should probably be happier there. Yeah. That's good. Oh. That's fine. They're going to undo that? How are they going to... A little sad. Thankful. Sort of cautiously happy. Holy shit, that's a lot of feelings. At the same time, slightly nauseous while still being hopeful. There was a girl who lived all alone in a horrible cave. So far from home that it made her chest hurt. And she'd almost given up hoping. The handsome man went away again. And even though she didn't mean to, high up in that castle, the girl just built herself another cave. Hoping that he would save her again. But you can't save me this time, can you? Fred made this. Cool, ain't it? Designed for serious to fatal wounding, if not outright decapitation. Or it makes toast. Or it makes toast. I was going to be all fancy and... Oh, hell. I, I mean, heck. <laughs> Bye, Fred. Oh, somebody do something. I'm so confused. Daddy, I was kidnapped into an alternate dimension. Well, she was. Turn the car around now. I loved her. Didn't grind her down into a tiny self-conscious nub with a constant berating. Things are just never normal around here, you know? Oh, God. That's pretty, I guess. I found that uh, soothing. I can be soothing. I could soothe your ass off, pal. 
Okay. Personally, I'm glad she's gone. It's going to be a load off not having to worry about crazy taco lady anymore. Have a good cry. Crawl under my big, fluffy, giant bug. <laughs> we are so immensely dead. Oh, no. Angel, we're here. I'm here. Fred? Oh, I'm late. Hey. <laughs> Who's helping me here? I am. Oh, that's disgusting. It, it must have laid its eggs in the Dursler's head, which would explain the Dursler coming up out of the sewer. I think it might be a half species, gender neutral, but I'd have to do some research to back that up. Nice going, Fred. No, it was nothing. Just a stunning revelation of my true path in life, that's all. Come again, honey? <laughs> I could go home with you and pretend the last five years didn't happen. But the truth of it is, well, I'm not normal anymore. I belong here. And, unless I don't, which if, if y'all don't want to put up with me, I completely understand. Let's put it to a vote, shall we? All in favor, say aye, aye. Motion passed, good, you're staying. This is my life now. We were kind of hoping you wouldn't figure that out. I'm telling you, if you do it vertically, you're going to get those ugly drops now, on Now, boys, I don't want to hear any fighting over there. OK. <laughs> In a minute, I, I just want to finish this section. Good for you. Oh my god. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, I really think this is one of the best Angel episodes we've seen, like no doubt. I love that there was such a great combination of like hilarious scenes with also like really big tear jerkers. Like I did not expect this episode to like hit me as hard as it did, you know, because I knew like I feel like I kind of knew the end of the episode. I didn't remember a lot of like the in between, but I knew that she was going to like stay, which thank God, because I'm already too busy worrying about Giles and Buffy right now. I can't emotionally deal with having to worry about another character leaving the show. So I knew that the outcome was going to be that she stayed, but I didn't remember a lot of like the stuff with her parents. Um, and I, I have to say, I did think they were sketchy and I kind of like the way that they build that up because I think it also just shows that like the squad is so, um, well, <laughs> they kind of have their trust issues and I feel like that was pretty funny. Um, but just overall, you know, I, I was confused about the storyline, I would say, in the sense of I was wondering why she hadn't reached out to them before. Um, the only reason that I wasn't like caught up on that is because I knew that at some point the story was going to make sense because I knew that they were going to appear. So obviously I've sort of been waiting for that. But I feel like it all just makes so much sense when you watch the episode. It was fantastic, like the reasonings behind it, you know, her running away, like it having all to do with her trauma and not being able to like sort of look at them in the face because they're sort of like a reminder of this life that she can no longer have. It's all so, so sad, but it's so, so well done. I just, I love this episode so, so much. I, listen, Amy Acker was an amazing, amazing actress this episode. I know that I'm biased, but like, she was incredible. She was absolutely incredible. And it's funny because the one scene that made me think of that, and it's the most random scene ever, is when she's sitting in the bus stop and she's uh, like reading the numbers of pi, not reading, but like saying the pi numbers or whatever. I was like, this this woman is incredible. Like she completely like makes me feel like Fred is real, if that makes sense. I feel like her performance was just incredible and I just needed to give a little bit of Amy Acker praise. I'm just so happy we had a Fred episode. It was great. Like it was everything I could have wanted and more because I feel like we got to deal with a lot of like, emotional turmoil. I kind of like that this episode was less about the monsters and more about just like Fred figuring out what she wants to do with her life and having this great breakthrough. And I kind of just really enjoy the fact that she had to leave in order to like find her place and know that she has to come back. You know, she finally understands her value 
And I think it was also fun to be able to see the squad. Like, I don't want to say mourn her, but, you know, they were definitely feeling the feels about having her be gone. So I, I feel like it was a great scenario in both ways. And also because her parents are so nice that it would make sense that she would go with them. And so, like, I don't know, all of it just makes so much sense. You know, I think that if your nice parents come and grab you, and you have the opportunity to go back to like a normal life. I don't see why she wouldn't. But I like that, you know, I don't know, five, ten minutes into this normal life. She's like, well, actually, I don't know if I can do this anymore. You know, I just but it but it makes sense that she would want to give it a try at least. Um, but I'm just I'm so happy that she came back. It felt like such a an important thing for her to like consciously make that decision to the decision to stay to help and to I guess be more involved in angel investigations because I think that this is sort of like that moment for her where everything changes and I think we're gonna see quite a different side of Fred going forward um then I think she's going to be a lot more involved in the actual detecting um detective detecting that doesn't sound right. Anyways, uh, I think she's definitely going to be more involved in the actual investigation part of things. And, you know, I, I want to see what her description is going to be, you know, because I feel like they they described the characters so, so well. They picked the perfect words for everybody. Um, and I want to see what would Fred be. And I love, love, love that they said that Cordy is the heart. That... That killed me. That really killed me. It's just such character progress to have Cordelia Chase be the heart of the group. But she really is. She's the one who's bringing sort of like the compassion, uh, I guess, through her visions. And just, uh, it made so much sense. I love this episode. I have like, I have no criticisms. This was literally the perfect episode. I think this was the best episode of Angel we've seen in like a while. Not that Angel isn't good. It's just that, like I'm, I'm fighting every urgent side of me to not say that this is my favorite episode of Angel. Um, I mean, I still think I will always remember you as up there, but I think that this might have to be a solid top three or top five favorite episodes of Angel. So good. It's just so good. It's just so good. And I, and I love Fred going to Lorne. Like, this entire episode was so well thought out. I need to see who wrote this episode. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. It's because I always, like, don't read the credits. I can't read this either. It's too small. Um, I'm never going to be able to get this, am I? Yeah, no, I fully just lost the episode. Um, if somebody wants to tell me who directed this, um, uh, no, not directed. Um, if somebody wants to tell me who wrote this episode, I would be very thankful. Because um, I think it was a master class and just writing and so good um but i was talking about lauren i got distracted i kind of love that for her i love that she's like finding her people because i feel like lauren is just so good at like just helping people in general but honestly that made me kind of sad though the fact that he says that everybody just always goes to him for help and like lauren i need you to know that you're appreciated and something else that made me sad um is that i can't believe that he still hasn't rebuilt caritas i mean I feel like I totally get it because it's just so overwhelming for him probably. And, you know, it just looks like he's a little bit depressed and doesn't really have the motivation to do, to do that. But I hope that the squad, now that they saw that this is how Karatas is, I hope that they like get together in the next episode and help him rebuild it or something. Cause you know, I don't, I don't want to say that it's their fault, you know, but they're sort of the ones that really brought things in there. And so I feel like it would be helpful for them to like, I don't know, help Lorne out if he needs it because he's always helping them. But at the same time, by the way, I should say, I don't like that he was sort of blaming Gun though because I know that I just put the blame on the squad, but I kind of don't and I didn't love that. But anyways, it's fine. Lorne was just like, he was a really sad character this episode. I feel like he was kind of just going through something and I kind of just wanted to hug him and like ask him to sing me a song so I can know what he's feeling and just you know I think we need to bring some people back from Pylea so that somebody can read Lauren so that we can find the best way to help him or something but I just really loved seeing the dynamic of Fred and Lauren and having these two because I would say that they're, they're probably out of the squad they're the ones who feel the most like outsiders right now so it's kind of cool to see the outsiders get together and bond in a way. And another character that was just great. Um, I feel like we have to talk about these parents. They were kind of awesome. They kind of kicked some ass. I mean, I love that we actually got to see them do the fighting. Because that's like, because I, I just, what? You know, like at the end of the episode, 
I like that they were having this sort of like nostalgic conversation that felt a little bit like saying that none of them are close to their parents. And that was kind of upsetting. You know, I think Wes seems to have uh, the biggest daddy trouble of all. But I I know that Cordy is also very high up and having bad relationships with her parents, I would feel. So I like that we were talking about like the emotional part of it, of not feeling like they have the parents to rely on. But also, I like that they were not just there for Fred emotionally. They were physically there to kick some ass. Like, they understood the supernatural and accepted it so easily, which good for them. And then they're also going to, like, physically put themselves in danger to help their child. Like, they just really seemed like great parents. And I feel really bad for misjudging them. But in my defense, when Fred runs, I was like, never mind, they're evil. It's just such a great twist that they're not actually evil and that it was all just her sort of not being able to deal with her trauma. It's, oh my God. And then the end, I really, really enjoy the last scene um, because it just feels like Fred finally being able to move on, you know, just letting go of her past, covering her story, starting to maybe focus on the future, you know? And I like that she says that Angel can't save her again. That's true. Um, Now she gets to, like, save herself. She gets to make this decision and, uh, you know, get herself out of this place that she's put herself in, in a way, which is, like I said, completely understandable given her past, but I like that she's conscious about these decisions that she's making, about putting herself in, like, a, what does she call it? Like, not a castle, like a prison? Yeah, like, we know that she sort of made this on her own for good reasons, but I like that now that she's conscious about it, she can work to undo this idea and actually, you know, start interacting with people a little bit more and and starting to get out of the hotel, um, gaining some independence and hopefully letting go of the fear. So I think this was a great, like, step for Fred in uh, just regaining her life. Um, And I'm just so happy for her. This was such a great episode. I just like, I really, really love this freaking episode. And I knew I was going to love it. I mean, I went into it already knowing it because you know, it has Fred in the title. It was obviously going to have to be Fred centric. So I was like, yeah, of course I'll like it. But like, this just hits all the spots, all the spots. Overall, I don't think I have too much more to say about this episode other than I think it was amazing. I'm glad we're getting to focus on Fred. I'm glad that we seem to have this like really big breakthrough for Fred, both in the emotional sense of knowing that she should hopefully start, I want to say being a little bit more social and, you know, trying to let go of that fear. And also in having the breakthrough of wanting to sort of help Angel Investigations and being a little bit more hands-on with all this like demon stuff. And, you know, super interesting like parents baggage. Um, Just like such a good episode. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So yeah, I think we should read the title of the next episode uh, and uh, see what we have coming for us. The name of the next episode is Billy. This gives me nothing. There's a Billy in Stranger Things. That's all I can think of. For some reason, that's the only Billy that I seem to remember um i'm going to assume they're going to be fighting someone named billy or helping someone named billy strong predictions with this one well i nailed this prediction for this episode so much because i kind of remembered it that it would make sense that i would completely fuck up the next one well i'm excited to meet billy or maybe not meet billy but i guess we're gonna find out very soon Um, so yeah, I just, I thank you all so much for watching this with me. I hope you had fun and I love Fred. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Bye guys. Stay safe.